my channel. So it's time for 2018. As y'all already know, we're in the year 2018. So <laughs> it wouldn't be 2018 or the beginning of 2018 if I didn't tell y'all what I want to do or what I want to resolve in 2018. So this is going to be my 2018 resolutions. So recently I did a blog post over setting new year resolutions and goals and I kind of explained more in detail that resolutions are really more of a I want to change this or I want to do this differently and goals are more of the set in stone, the number, the uh, I'm going to the, do this X amount of times, I want to hit this number by this time. That's more of a goal. So I'm going to first start off with telling y'all what I want to my resolutions to be in 2018 and then we'll get into my actual goals for 2018. So the first thing that I want to resolve in 2018 is I want to stop spending so much of my time being anxious. A lot of y'all may know because I talked a little bit about on Twitter but I haven't really talked about it on YouTube or I, to the full extent but I spent a lot of 2018 or 2017 I'm sorry having anxiety having a lot of anxiety for a lot of no a lot of nothing and a lot of it was because of my mindset it was because I was putting myself in situations where I was causing myself to have anxiety um, and so something that I definitely want to change in 2018 is I want to stop having so many days where I'm so anxiety ridden. I want to start working on changing that and finding ways to really handle it versus just letting it be. So with that being said, I want to start changing my mindset to kind of be happier. Not kind of. I want it to be happier. Um, I want to wake up and just be happy and now obviously I know like I can't always be happy or giddy or whatever but I want to spend most of my year happy I don't want to sit and be in a bad mood and over the past like nine days or so well it's eight nine I don't know what day we're on um <laughs> over the past few days I have been really trying hard to wake up and even if I don't feel good even if something bad is happening even if I'm stressed out. I am trying to remind myself, Megan, it's a day. It will move on. You're okay. <laughs> you are okay. And I, that has really changed my mindset. And oddly enough, it really has been showing some effect on my social media, on <laughs> my blog, um, in my personal life. I just genuinely have been feeling happier. And I think that that is something I want to continue to follow. So my next resolution is I want to do more fun things. A lot of the times because I'm scared, because I am worried, because I feel like I'm gonna, I don't know, like I feel like it's I'm gonna be anxious about something, I don't do it. I back away and that's something that I want to change. I want to start challenging myself. I want to start doing the fun things that I never would do solely because like I didn't want to put myself in that position, which kind of contradicts the first resolutions, but not really, okay? I want to challenge myself to do one thing new every single month of the year um, and obviously do other things as well, but I want to really like challenge myself and do those fun things that I shied away from for so long. <laughs> um, along with that, I really want to make some new friends. Uh, not saying that I don't love my friends that I have, but I feel like I put myself in a bubble and I need to start expanding that bubble. <laughs> so. So now on to the goals of 2018. Now I'm going to just make this clear now. These are very like, these are numbers. I'm about to talk about my social media. I don't want anybody to think that I'm bragging or that I'm trying to like show off. I'm not. 
I personally believe that if you say it, it will happen. I believe in the law of attraction, attracting what you ask for or work for. So just remember that whenever I start talking about numbers, because <laughs> I don't want anybody to freak out. All right, so on Instagram, uh, I currently have like 3,003 3 something, 3,400, it's something like that. Um, I want to hit 10,000 by the end of 2018. On Twitter, I currently have like 4.6k, something like that. Um, I want to hit 15k by the end of 2018. On Pinterest, I want to hit 5,000 by the end of the year. And then on Facebook, I also want to hit 5,000 by the end of the year. And then the final one that I want to kind of talk about and say is YouTube, uh, obviously. Uh, I wanted to hit 500 by the end of the year. However, that didn't happen. But <laughs> by the end of 2018, I want to hit 1,000 subscribers. Can y'all make it happen? Can you? Maybe. <laughs> All right, so the next ones are more of like a personal ones. And they don't really have like a time or like a number that goes along with it. They're kind of more vague. But these are goals that I want to do in 2018 as far as like personal, personally, personal wise. Um, I want to meditate more. Uh, I used to meditate almost daily and I genuinely loved it. And it does make me feel very like calm and relaxed. So I want to start getting that back into my normal routine. Another thing that I want to do is I want to challenge myself to write something down every single day. Now, I have been doing this for the last 30 days, or 30 days, the last uh, nine days, nine days as of now. It'll be a few days once you watch this, but <laughs> um, I took my, I kind of told myself, okay, you're going to write down something every day for 30 days, for sure. I want to extend this for the rest of the year, but I wanted to challenge myself for 30 days. And so far, I've actually like, accomplished that. Granted, I also write for a blog, so I count that. <laughs> um, another thing that I want to do is I want to make new friends. Um, like I said prior, my resolutions, I feel like I put myself in a bubble and I need to expand that bubble. And then the last thing that I want to do as far as personal wise, I, like I said, I said this before, I want to challenge myself to do one thing, at least one thing, new every single month that I've never done before. Yeah. And then the last few are about traveling. And so I'm going to talk about those real quick. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I definitely want to get a passport of some form. Well, a form. It's one form. It's just a passport and not a passport. Okay. Anyways, I want to get my passport this year. Um, I also would love to be able to travel outside of the United States. I don't know that that will happen this year, but maybe Canada, you're right there. <laughs> uh, who knows, that might happen this year. Um, also, I would like to fly on a plane because I've never flown on a plane, so which that might be happening very soon. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that is it pretty much for my 2018 resolutions and goals and all that good jazz. I will have the blog post I talked about linked down in the description below. And yeah, uh, what are your resolutions for 2018? What are you striving to do better this year? What do you want your year to look like? Because I want mine to look like freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, it really helps me out to know if you like my content. Also, if you want to hit the red subscribe button right down below, it would mean the world to me. And yeah, <laughs> I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys. You did it right from the start. Like nobody is watching what we do.